All right, guys, thanks for joining me this morning. I'm going to share with you how to shave your head. This was requested of me by uh, one of my viewers on YouTube, and um, I thought I'd take the time to show you that what the process is, uh, what the process is that I go through. That's a great question because it's not as easy as what some people may think it is. Um, I get a lot of questions. I get, I get approached a lot about how to shave my head. Believe it or not, there are some women who stop me and ask me, how I shave my head, why they ask me, I have no idea. I've never had that explained to me. Um, but men oftentimes will approach me and they'll tell me, um, I try to shave my head, but I, I just get a razor burn. I end up cutting myself and um, they don't understand, they, they didn't realize going into it that there's a, there is a process and there is a, there's a period of time there in which um, when you're shaving your head that you, your skin has to get used to the razor because that's a, that's, a, uh, that's a surface of your body that hasn't been touched by a razor before more than likely. And if it's not used to the razor, it's going to react to it. Um, a lot of men want to shave their head, but they don't think they're going to look good like that. Uh, it, they, they'll oftentimes say, well, my head is not shaped like yours. My head has all these dens and bumps and little caves, you know, little craters in them. Everybody's, everybody's skull has that. Everybody's head is like that. My head is like that. Um, your head is not going to look, after you shave your head, it's not going to look like you think it's going to. It's going to look a lot better more than likely. There's very few pe There's very few men, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. There are some men who don't look good with a shaved head. I mean, that's just the way it is. But a lot of men do. And um, I, uh, I started shaving my head, I don't know, uh, 15, 14, 15 years ago because my wife talked me into it. She said that um, she thinks shaved heads are sexier on men. And uh, it took me a while to do it. I've never liked my, my hairline. I've, just, I've always had this, even as a young man, the, the way that shaped, I've just never liked it. And uh, I, I've oftentimes said, if I start to go bald, I'm just going to shave it. Well, I never started to go bald. I can still grow a full head of hair. I just don't like my hairline. And I don't like the upkeep. I don't like going to the barber every month, or month and a half, two months, getting a haircut that I didn't like. I was never satisfied. I guess maybe I was just too picky or something, but I just didn't like messing with my hair. This is so low maintenance. I shave my head uh, once, twice a week. That's it. Usually on a Wednesday and on a Saturday. And it's just a whole lot easier for me. And it's even easier when I shave my face. Because I can do it all at one time in the shower. It doesn't take me very long at all. And, um, but you, you, if you men are thinking about shaving your head, uh, don't let the idea that you feel bumps or uh, uneven surfaces on your, on your skull, don't let that make you think that you can't do it. Uh, give it a try. And I'm going to give you some tips today on uh, what to expect and what you should do in going into it because it's probably not what you think. It's not as simple as just applying a razor to your skin um, because more than likely, uh, do it the first time, do it for a while, uh, you're going to get razor burned, you're going to cut yourself. And I did all of that until I got turned on some pretty good uh, tips on what to do and they worked for me. And so as people have approached me over the years about how to do it, I've been able to help them and they've all told me it works. So here's what I do. All right. Um, I use hot water, obviously, just like you do when you shave your head. You could apply a hot, wet towel to your head first to open up the pores, make it easier. I don't do that. I don't like taking the time to do it. So I just wet my head with hot water. And here's what, here's what, you, may, what you may find surprising initially is don't use shaving cream. Now, now after a long period of time of shaving your head, you can probably do that. I don't, I don't do that. Well, I do it sometimes now, but my skin is used to the razor. Your head's not going to be used to the, the, uh, the metal touch on the skin on your head. Here's what you do, and this has worked for me, and it has worked for so many other people I've given this advice to, because they've come back and told me. When you first start shaving your head, Shave with conditioner. Now, I like this particular conditioner a lot. I think most conditioners work the same. I just, I just like this brand, and I like the uh, the fragrance. It's uh, Tea Tree Mint Conditioner by um, OGX, and I think that they 
manufacture these in, uh, yeah, in Clearwater, Florida. So this is like, uh, you know, maybe 40 miles away from me. But OGX is a tea tree, tea tree mint conditioner. It smells great. I love it. But conditioner doesn't do the same thing to your skin that like shaving cream does. Shaving cream is easier to see. It's easier to follow the trail. When you, when you have it in your head and you're shaving, you can see where you've been. Um, conditioner goes on clear, but it's so much better for your skin. And it, you, it, it's, it acts like a lubricant. Um, it doesn't have, I guess, someone has explained it to me a long time ago, that it doesn't have the detergents in it that um, like other things do. I don't, I don't know, I'm not a chemist. I don't, <laughs> I'm not a connoisseur of these things. So I couldn't tell you, all I know is conditioner works. So shave with conditioner, that's number one. And um, you will find, you will find that um, you will, you will not get razor burn. I swear to it. You can even use it on your face. But you will not get razor burn and uh, you will be less likely to cut yourself. It's a lot harder to cut yourself. So here's, here I'm going to go through the process with you and um, you can see exactly what I do. I'm going to wet my head first. Now that, it, now that my head is wet, I'll apply a small amount of conditioner to it. Um, I haven't done anything to my beard this morning because all this is going to run down into it anyway. I'm going to take a shower when I get done. But anyway, I, uh, I distribute this as evenly as I can. Make sure it's, I really rub it in. And, um, I may tell you things that you're already very familiar with. I don't mean to make it sound like you don't know what you're doing. But I'm just going to go ahead and explain as much as I can anyway. My razor's wet, and I start off with, um, now, because I have a beard, what I am going to do initially is, uh, is I'm going to cut right above here because that's where my sideburns are at. When I shave my face, this is not an issue. So just bear with me. I am going against the grain right here. I don't advise this. I don't advise that right off the bat. Um, I just need to establish this line for myself right now. I probably should have done this before I even started the video. I can clean that up later. I can clean that up and straighten it up later. I won't bore you guys with that anymore. But here's what I do first. I take my razor, a wet razor. My head, my head is still wet. It's still wet. It's still lubed up with the uh, conditioner. I do go with the grain. I do this in steps. But the first step I, I, I take is I go with the grain. Now your hair grows in certain directions. I've seen guys in videos, they do their whole head like this. All sides. I don't advise that. That's not the way your hair grows. Your hair might grow different than mine, but get to know the direction that your hair grows. My hair on the sides, like most people, on the sides, grows down. It does not grow this way. It does not grow that way. It grows down. So I go with the grain, and I go from front, I go from the side to the back. And what I do, this is just me. This is just one of my quirky things. I'm not saying there's any scientific reason behind it. I just do things a certain way just because I, I sometimes don't even know why I do them. But I will go, I will swipe three times in one spot. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll do that about three times. Now, I don't know how well you can see this video, but you're gonna notice I'm not getting a super close shave right here, and that's okay. But I'm gonna do it again all the way until I get to the middle of the back of my head. And this takes some practice. 
when you first start doing this, um, you're probably not going to be able to do this as smoothly and as quickly as I do. Because I've been doing this for a long time. But um, it does take some practice because you have to, you're going to be holding your razor in a way that you're not used to. And um, so I've gone all the way to the middle of the back of my head, I think. I can do this without a mirror. I have no problem. Especially when I have no beard, I can just get in the shower. I don't even have to have my eyes open. Just go right at that. I'm going to go to this side now and shave. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you want to, just like you do when you shave your face, you want to regularly rinse out your razor. And about every every three steps you take or so. When you get to the back of your head, you're going to have to go down further to get the back of your neck. You can see I'm going down further in the back. Now, ears are funny. Ears are funny because you can't see what's behind your ears for the most part. I, and you're not really going to be able to get a good shade behind them. The hair hides behind your ears. You've got to be careful about that. When I first started out, I was leaving hair back behind there. I didn't even know it. Okay, now I'm going to do the top of my head. The top of my head, uh, the hair goes all sorts of different ways. It, this is the place where it's the most inconsistent. But I'm going to do the same thing. It's still wet. And the good thing about using conditioner on your head is if, you, if your head starts to dry out at all a little bit, all you have to do is have your hand just a little, a little damp, a little bit wet, and touch it, and it, it goes right back to its uh, um, slickness, for lack of better words. So... I, I go I go with the grain, and for me, that goes, I, I don't go all the way back here. I start here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, I actually let my hair grow out a little bit longer before I shave it this time, just so you could see the definition a little bit more. So, it's actually a little bit harder for me to shave my head right now than what it would normally be. Um, I mean, this, this would usually be quicker for me because I'm not explaining it and uh, the hair is shorter and zip right through it. Okay. I am kind of like doing a few cursory strokes here. And then the back of my head, right back here, right across the top here, this is where it grows the strangest. It grows so strange back there. And I have to approach that a little bit different. You're going to have to feel with your fingers, the back here, you know, different places on your head to find out if, um, which way the grain, go, the grain of your hair goes. Um, it's just weird. It's, and sometimes that takes a while to figure that out. Um, and those can end up being trouble. Sorry about that, about the water run. Those can end up being trouble spots. And so you gotta be careful with that. Um, but using conditioner helps with not cutting yourself in the process. Now what I do next, is I haven't got a real close shave, but I love as close of a shave as I can possibly get. Um, by doing it the way I just did it, it's not a close shave, because I'm not done yet. And uh, I'm gonna show you what you do next. Rinse off your head after you've shaved with the grain. I like my head to be shaved so close as slick as a bowling ball. All right, now I'm going to apply conditioner again. This is where your shave gets to be really good. Now I want to tell you, I will tell you something about the razor. When you're using a razor, I just use a regular, regular handheld razor, like a regular razor that you use on your face. The more blades you have on your razor, 
the better. It just works better. I like Gillette. I do not like Bic. Um, Bic has not come out with a good one as far as I'm concerned. And, um, but I stick with Gillette. I go through those and, and uh, to, to me the, to me the blades last longer and they just cut sharper. And uh, I, I personally, I like a razor that's already, uh, not already been used, like in a pack, coming out of a package already used, they don't sell them like that obviously. But to me, a razor works better after you've used it a couple times. Um, I prefer that. Uh, the first time you pull out a razor when it's, when it's the sharpest, I really don't like it that much. You're actually more prone to cutting yourself. But hopefully I'm going to help you reduce that uh, possibility. So now that I've lubed up my head again with, with conditioner, I go against the grain. And I do the same thing. I go in strokes of three, and I go about three steps, rinse it out. Now, I don't know if you can see. I can see the mirror. You probably can't see it in the video. I'm even. I'm starting to see even more of a contrast because I'm getting a closer shave. Okay. I pretty much start try to stick this pattern. I don't try to go too much further in, in terms of getting a closer shave until I've gotten through my pattern. I go back after that and try to get some. Uh, uh, some hair that, that might not be down as close to my skin as I want. Uh, behind the ears is really tricky. You gotta pull that ear back and you gotta follow that line of your ear. Follow the line of your ear because it's easy to miss that. Really easy to miss that. All right, I'm gonna continue. One, two, three. Once again, as you get to the back of your head, you're going to have to start going further. And don't be in a hurry. Being in a hurry is what will get you cut. Now I'm back to the center of my head. I do not go all the way down. Because going all the way down would be going with the grain. We've already done that. I go to the other side. Get back behind the ear. Okay. Continue. You got to adjust. You have to adjust the way you hold your razor. It gets a little tricky if you're not used to it. It may take a little bit of time getting used to it. See how I'm holding it? I mean, that's that's just a learning process. You don't normally do that when you, when you shave your face. You hold your, you end up holding your razor all sorts of different ways. All right. Now off the top of my head. pretty much cover this entire, entire surface of my head. What I do is I have my hand a little damp and I go back through and I feel for the rough spots because there's still going to be some that just the razor just didn't get quite right and I feel for those. I don't spin long on them because the more you go over the, your skin the greater chance you have of um, making your skin raw. But I like a really close shave, as close as I can get it. Because like I said, I only shave once or twice a week. That's the advantage of shaving. And guys, if you're wondering if women think that shaved heads are sexy, 
Yes, they do. They absolutely do. So, I'm just, I'm not trying to bore you here, but, but I'm trying to get the loose ends here. I say well, there's no such thing as a loose end on a shaved head. But, um, you get any some of the spots that are missed? And that's about it. I rinse off my head again. I rinse off my head again, and then the good thing about using conditioner is that because it's because it's a moisturizer and so it's so soft, it leaves your scalp feeling soft even after you rinse it off. You may not even necessarily have to use aftershave lotion. You can, but um, you won't find it as necessary. For me, when I use uh, whenever I use an aftershave, I prefer a lotion. Uh, aftershave lotion like this, like Gillette's um, aftershave lotion. It, it smells great, it goes on great, and um, this one's for sensitive skin. I tend to have sensitive skin, so the things that I'm telling you are probably be good for most men. But that's how I shave my head, and if you do it right, if you shave it right and use conditioner, you will not get razor burn, which is going to be your biggest obstacle in going into this and um, or cutting yourself. Uh, just when you rake and you shave, gently apply the razor. It's a learning process. There's a curve here. So take your time. Don't be in a hurry. And um, just um, enjoy the process. Uh, you're going to like it. It's a lot. It's, it's so much easier. It's low maintenance. And I hope everything I told you here helped. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. And um, if you have any tips that I have not covered here, and I'm sure maybe I'll think of some later. But if you have any of your own, leave those in the comment box likewise. Like this video and uh, subscribe. All right, guys. I'll be catching you later on the next video. Thanks for your time. I'll be seeing you later. Bye-bye.